हेलो एवरी वन माई नेम इज ज्ञानी शुक्ला एंड आई एम फ्रॉम आई टी हैदराबाद बायोटेक डिपार्टमेंट एंड टूडे वी आर हियर टू सॉल्व द गेट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री एक्सेल जनरल एप्टीट्यूड पार्ट ऑफ द पेपर सो लेट्स बिगिन द वेरी फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज द विलेज वॉज नेसल्ड इन द ग्रीन स्पॉट दैस द ओशन एंड द हिल्स नाउ वेन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट टू पर्टिकुलर थिंग्स वेरी क्लियरली इन दिस इट कैन नॉट बी थ्रू द ओशन एंड द हिल्स or it cannot be inside the ocean and the hills so when we are talking about two entity it has to be between it's a very simple and straightforward question so the answer would be between moving on moving on the second question is disagree or protest the protest is analogous protest has a similar meaning in the context of when you you are pro- you protest against something because you are disagreeing to that context but to agree you cannot refuse obviously you cannot refuse someone's some uh, thoughts and uh, agree to it at the same time that's just opposite pretext is something a reason which we give when we are giving a wrong justification about something recommend is something that you would do if you are agreeing to something so the answer very clearly would be recommend next a difficult one which seems to us in the very first view a fractious number is it is defined as a three digit number with all the digits odd and no two adjacent digits being the same for example 137 is a fractious number while 133 is not one because these two are adjacent digits side by side <coughs> so how many fractious numbers exist now we'll have to take into consideration that should be three digit number and all the digits should be odd so three digit numbers can exist only from 100 to 999 from in this we will see from the first 100 to 200 path let's do it 111 uh, 101 we cannot because zero is a uh, even so it will have to start with 111 actually we cannot because one and one has the uh, one and one and one will have an adjacent numbers so we'll have to start with 11 we'll have to start with 131 One five one one seven one one nine one. Okay, so one three one be one three three one three five one three seven one three nine. Actually, this cannot be because three and three are adjacent. Both are odd digits. So in this here we have one two three four four, and similarly in the one fifty one part we'll have. One fifty three, one fifty five, one fifty seven, one fifty nine. We cannot have one fifty five because five and five are adjacent. Similarly, here we have four, and similarly in one seventy one in this uh, series also we cannot have one seventy seven. Rest four will have this also. Rest four will have. So from hundred to two hundred, if we are having sixteen, then how hundred to two hundred we have we have sixteen digits. So all what numbers can be from 200 to 300 uh, actually cannot only we are only talking about the odd numbers so 300 in the 300 series in the 500 series in the 700 series and in 900 series so we have 1 2 3 4 5 1000 uh, 100 numbers will have 16 each 5 into 16 would give us 80 such numbers 80 would be the answer Next question: Which one among the following statements must be true about the mean and the median scores of all candidates appearing in Gate 2023? Okay, this can be a little tricky one. But uh, the first statement is the median is at least as large as the mean. This statement does not. This statement would be true if we are talking about a normalized distribution where the mean and the mean median. Median is the middle position when we have sorted the data. and the mean would be the average value of all the data points so mean and median would be the same if we have a symmetric distribution but this would not this would not fall true if we have a skewed distribution where like in an exam gate maximum number of students will have scored higher so there the mean and the median will not be true this is not a true statement in all the conditions and the similarly this the statement mean is least as large as the median is complementary to the first statement so even this cannot be true if we look at this uh, third sentence 
at most half of the candidates have a score that is larger than the median by the definition of the median median is a point when we have sorted the data now definitely always half of the number will be greater than the median and half of the number will be lower than the median if the more than half of the number is greater than the mean score then then in that case the median will shift so this is the only right answer as at most half of the candidates have a score that is larger than the mean this cannot be true because in a skewed distribution with a very long tail the more than half of the candidates can have also have a score which is larger than the mean or even smaller than the mean Moving on to the next question, this is very self-explanatory and this can be solved just by looking at the diagram in the very first view. So in the given diagram, ovals are marked as different heights of the hill. Which one of the following is the top view of the hill? So uh, this is this oval is what we are talking about. So if we mark the graph, it will be, it has to be the near the part which is near the uh, exact center axis of the hill is near to the y axis the central axis so in that such such a case only exists near the zero kilometer this is smaller part such a case only exists in q where the central point is closest to the zero kilometer so very clearly the answer would be q moving on to the next question now this is a this such type of questions i do recommend that uh, we have to keep walk on our tiptoes when we are solving these we cannot get very overconfident with such questions so residency of a famous housing complex with many well established well established indivi individuals are uh, most of the residents are well established and a recent survey has said that the residents are all of all the those residents who are well established in their respective fields hap happen to be academicians there are residents those who are well established most of them are academicians the survey also revealed that most of these academicians are authors of some best selling books okay based on the above information which of the following statement can be logically inferred with certainty let's see some residents of the some residents of the complex who are well established in their fields are also authors of the best selling very true this looks like a true statement all academicians residing in the complex are well all no actually no because they have in the very start some of the individual not all of them most of them but not all this won't be some author of the best selling books now we are having a top bo bottom up approach in this statement some author of the best selling books are residents of the complex who are well established this also seems true some academicians residing in the complex are well established in their fields very true actually there is no true answer for this uh, particular question this particular question the marks was given to all of the candidates who had attempted it so it can be get tricky that's why i recommend not to if you are not very confident not to go with so moving on to the next question this is seventh the seventh question states that ankita has to climb five stairs starting at the ground while respecting the following rules the rules are at any stage ankita can move either one step or two steps she can jump a step but she can never come back the data which is given in the next line is the fn times denotes the number of possible ways in which ankita can reach the nth stair for example if the f1 is f is 1 means there is only a single stair then obviously there is only one single way a single step if there is two stairs it can she can either go a single step or she can just jump step If there is three stairs she can go a single way and jump a step or she can go single 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 way or she can jump stair then a single three steps so the value of five if what would be the value if five steps are there a shorter way to solve this question would be using the fibonacci series but uh, let's be honest all of us do not remember we cannot remember each and every rules and rules and tips and tricks during the exam so if we can see that the data is less than it is handleable we can it is we can handle it so we'll try to have a manual approach to it so let's start we'll first draw a uh, five stairs stairs with five steps 1 2 3 4 5 now there can be three post three types of uh, walking criteria like we can have a single step obviously 
that would be one possible way a single step five times or they or that or there can be a, a one jump and three like or there can be two jumps and a single step like there can be a longer step and also a single step let's try to do that in the first we'll do a uh, two long we'll have two long jumps and then a few single jumps three single jumps and there can be one longer jumps and three sing or three single single jumps three times that will also be first so this is what we have see all single steps let's try jumping twice and then a single step so this is first jump second jump a single step or it can be again it can be a jump and a single step then again a jump or we can have a single step in the very start then a jump and a jump so there can be three possible ways this kind of three possible ways now if we have a for one jump and three single steps so let's do that let's have a single step single step single step one jump one possible way or another would be single step single step and a jump and a single step another would be single step jump single step single step that would be and another very last one would be no first a jump then a single step single step single step so four possible ways can be there this can have four possible so we have four three and one in total we can have eight possible ways of doing of uh, reaching our the top floor of these stairs moving on to the next question now this is the one question which i have all, earlier talked about we, we should refrain from uh, choosing such questions if we are not very sure about it another reason especially for this question is it has all the data of dna it is it all the data of related to biology which we are very confident about now here that confidence can have uh, have a retrospect effect on our uh, solving this question because we already know everything about biology so to to exclude that information and only focus on what is written here can be difficult but let's see so in this paragraph it is talking about the information contained in dna is used to synthesize proteins that are necessary for functioning of life dna is composed of four nucleotides adenine cytosine thy thymine cytosine guanine the information contained in dna can be brought of a sequence of these four nucleotides atgc dna has a coding and a non coding region coding regions is where the sequence of these nucleotides are read in groups of 3 to produce individual amino acids and only 2% of human dna constitute of these coding regions so it has further explained about uh, how the concept of codons so let's go to the based on based on only the information provided above which of the following state can be logically inferred with certainty the majority of human dna has no role in the synthesis of proteins well you might know the real answer of it but coming from this particular paragraph the majority of human dna has no role in synthesis of protein is very wrong because the uh, even the 98% of non coding region does have can have some role in the synthesis part of the protein which is not very much clearly given in this particular paragraph the function of our 98% of human dna is not understood this particular statement or this particular statement cannot be inferred from the given data in the paragraph it is nowhere written whether it is understood or not understood this can also be not certain so the answer should be neither one nor two moving on to the next question which of the following figures pqrs represent the graph of the following function so sorry and such a question we have a equation and we have graphs the y axis is fx and the x axis has the values of x so we'll simply put the values of x and we'll see that whether the uh, it corresponds to the graph values or not so in x we have minus 4 minus 2 0 plus 2 plus 4 so what will be the corresponding values of fx we'll start with 0 
If we put the value of 0, 0 plus 2 would be 2, minus 0 minus 1 would be minus 1. Now the only thing we have to take care about in this particular question is the my x minus 1 is in the mod operator. Mod diminishes the value of any signs. So this minus 1 will not be considered at minus 1. Instead, we'll consider it as plus 1. So 2 minus 1 will give us 1. So 0's value should be 1. Let's go with minus 2. Minus 2 plus 2 will give us 0. Minus minus 2 minus 1 will give us minus 3. But we forget about the minus sign. 0 minus 3 will give us minus 3 or 3. If we consider plus 2, plus 2 plus 2 give us 4. And 2 minus 1 will give us minus 1. 4 minus 1 will give us 3. So let's see <clears throat> where the value of 0 is let's see the value of minus 2 minus of minus, minus 2 is 3 in the p it is true value of minus 2 is minus in q it is not true q cannot be your answer value of minus 2 is 3 value of minus 2 is 3 so we still have 3 graph left so let's find the value of minus 4 2 so if we put the value of minus 4 minus 4 plus 2 would give us minus 2 minus Minus 4 minus 1 give us minus 5. In both cases, we will forget the minus signs. So 2 minus 5 will give us minus 3. We forget the minus sign. This should also be 3. So where minus 4 is 3. It's true in P. Minus 4 is 7. It's not true in R. Minus 4 is 7. It's not true. So P is our answer. Moving on to the very last question. And this is very self-explanatory and we'll have to imagine for this question a opaque cylinder shown below suspended in the path of parallel beam of light such that the shadows cast on a screen oriented perpendicular to the direction of the light beam. The, la be the, path, the beam path is parallel and the shadow is perpendicular to it. The cylinder, what would how the structure of the shadow it asked for? So P can be true when the cylinder is kept parallel to the beam of light. Even R would be true when the cylinder is perpendicular to the path of the light. Q is something you can imagine if we orient the uh, orient the opaque cylinder on some of a slanting 45 degree angle or so, we will get a curved edge. S is cannot be true when the situation is a parallel. S cannot can can be true when the source of the light is tilted with some angles, but not here. So very clearly, the answer here would be S. Thank you. I hope you like the uh, I hope you like the session. Hope to see you soon.